Have you ever had a day where things just weren't going so well? Have you ever had a day where things went from bad to worse? Maybe you've dropped your lunch all over the ground. Maybe you've fallen over and hurt yourself. Maybe your friends failed to include you in their game. Or maybe you found out the dog destroyed your homework. Bad days, sad things and tricky situations happen to all of us. And yet despite even our worst days, where we might feel sad, disappointed, lonely or hurt, as followers of Christ, we can still be filled with thankfulness and great joy. How? Well, despite what's going on in our own life and in the world around us, the truth about Jesus Christ and the hope that he provides does not change. That means that our joy, our praise, our prayers and our faith are not dependent on our circumstances, but on the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul had a great understanding of this. After he had become a Christian, he spent his time traveling around preaching the good news and sharing it with other Christians. And in that process, he had lots of bad days. Paul was greatly persecuted to the point where he was even thrown into jail. And this is where he spent his time writing lots of letters to other Christians, encouraging them to continue sharing their faith. Paul writes in verses three and four. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. Paul knew that times were not easy for the Philippians and that they faced persecution just like he had. But in his letter, Paul wanted the Philippians to be reminded that they were greatly loved, they were partners in the same mission, and that God's grace provides a peace and joy even in our darkest times. I pray that your love will grow and increase so that you might experience God's truth and live it out on earth. What encouraging words, not only for the Philippians, but for us to also read over 2000 years later. We all need to be reminded that the good news of Jesus is indeed great news. And that as part of God's big global family, we can rejoice together in thanksgiving for all that Jesus Christ has done.